So the first question is, why learn about drugs? It's not our problem, is it? People want to take these things, doctors want to prescribe them. We're not doctors, we don't need to know about that, do we? Well, actually we do. In the first case, many of our patients will be taking them. I often call this the pharmacentric society. These things are being pushed at us uh, constantly. And for most people, drugs are medicines and medicine is drugs. So when they have something wrong with them, they get a pain, they get a problem of some kind, they either go to their doctor or they go to the pharmacist and they buy these things. And many patients, I would say most patients, are used to using drugs on a fairly regular basis, either over the counter, as we say, self-medicating, or because they've been prescribed them for specific problems by their medical practitioner. Secondly, drugs always, and I repeat, always change the symptom picture and have effects, of course, side effects that we also need to be aware of. But this change of the symptom picture is vitally important. If you have pain and are using pain relief, if you have high blood pressure and are taking hypotensive drugs to take that blood pressure down, then those symptoms will change and they will not be detectable to you as a practitioner, even if you have your stethoscope and your sphygmomanometer handy to take that blood pressure, you're going to find it normal. But you are going to need to know that that's being artificially controlled because, point number three, herbs may interact with drugs and actually cardiovascular drugs, uh, blood pressure drugs, etc. are amongst the first line of drugs that we need to be aware that there are several herbs that might interact with them. And we don't want to cause any additional pain and suffering, any additional unwanted symptoms, and we don't necessarily want to interfere with the patient's uh, treatment program that they're being given from their doctor. Now we will be covering how we might intervene to help patients perhaps who want to come off their medication. Uh, this is the thing we can do responsibly if we know how and we will be training you to do that and we're going to show you a little flow chart uh, later on in the slideshow that describes how we might help somebody who's not happy about being on pharmaceutical medication. And number four, point number four here, it enables us to give our patients the best advice. Uh, which foods, which supplements and which herbal remedies, of course, are safe to take alongside pharmaceutical medication. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.